Hi, I want to show you a way to make realistic braids in ZBrush. So we're going to start by dragging out a C-sphere. Make sure to press edit and then go to draw and turn on floor on X, Y, and C. And then uh, the grid size, so 3 is fine, and set the tiles to 4. Then we want to zoom out and move this up. Try to keep it centered, and then maybe scale it down a bit. Take our draw tool to drag out a second sphere, make it just the same size. And move tool again and drag it down. Try to make sure that the lines are straight. Also make sure to check your side view so that it's straight in every direction. This can help you a lot later. And then go to the draw tool and make a top, a bottom, and then split middle ones twice and a third time. So in total, including top and bottom, we have nine sections. Then we go to our move tool again, take the second from the top, drag it all the way to the edge following this line, and then take the second from the bottom, drag it out all the way to the other edge following that line. Then we just take these in the middle and try to space them out as evenly as we can and try to make the lines straight. So try to keep everything neat and polished as your braids are going to look a lot better than that. Uh, I'm trying to be a bit quick here. So we're going to take the ones that we didn't drag out to the side and uh, drag them out to about two tiles. And then the next one in the other direction and this one. And just try to maintain the height as well. So keep everything neat. And check the front view so you didn't mess anything up. It's not looking too bad. From the top it's gonna have like a diamond H shape but we're gonna take our draw tool again and divide every section in the middle once more so that we can smooth it out and get more of an H shape. So we take our move tool again and just move it out every second so that we get a smooth curve, like an 8. And the better you do this, the better your braid is going to look. And also make sure to check your front view and side view for the height. But for the sake of the demo, I'm just going to leave it like this. And we want to take the ends, it's the final thing, and just align them with the with the first top and bottom sections so uh, that we get a nice curve later. I'm just going to fix this. So everything will align when we multiply this. But here we have it. It's our basic shape. Next thing we want to do is go down to adaptive skin. Keep the density low. I think 2 is enough. And then press preview. So you get to see what the mesh is going to look like. You can see if you need to bring the density up or down. Then press make adaptive skin. And what adaptive skin does is it creates a mesh. So we have the skin C-sphere. So we press that. And now we have a tool that is a mesh. So you see that the adaptive skin is no longer available because we're not working with the C-sphere. So now we want to multiply this so we get a long strand. So we're just going to duplicate and then we take our move tool and press W and then press shift and drag it up. Try to align these as best as you can. Let's see, I was in the I didn't do mine perfect, so it's not aligning properly, but it's gonna be good enough for now. But that is one thing to make sure of, just getting those ends right. So now you can choose how many times you want to duplicate this. I think that 4 is enough, gives me a bit length, so you get variations and you can choose which sec sections you want from the braid to keep. So here we have it, and then we just need to merge, and then press OK, always skip and merge. So now we have one strand. But since this is not perfect, we need to go into geometry and press Dynamesh. 
so that we can fix these ends that we had. So we want to keep the resolution quite low. I'm going to drag it up just a bit and press Dynamesh. And yes. And then just hope that nothing crashes. Then go to Zero Measure. And I think just under 4 is enough for this sprite. So I'm going to go to 3.9-ish. And then Adapt and press Zero Measure. And that fixes the tiling. Next thing I want to do is go down to Deformation. And we go to Polish. Make sure the circle is open. And just drag it up and polish this a few times. It's going to smoothen everything out. And then we can do polish crisp edges as well. But we don't want to keep it open because it's just going to eat up our mesh. So we want this one closed. And just do that. So now I have a nice smooth curve. And then it's time to braid this stuff. So a regular braid has three strands. And that's what we're going to do. So we have our move tool. Just going to drag this out again and press shift so it's straight up and then we want three strands and we want to space them out evenly so we have here I need to move this down a bit and this one again you can also alt click to choose then we need to merge all of these again so we get just one mesh so merge down then what we want to do is take our move tool and scale if we're drag at the bottom and hold shift we can scale it straight down so we get a bit long longer length and then we go back into deformation and we want to use inflate just push that up you may need to do this quite a few times until you're happy I think that this is looking a bit fat, so um, I'm going to scale this on the other directions as well, just to make it a bit smaller. And then what we want to do is uh, taper. You can play around with these settings as you wish. And just set it to something that you like, and then the Finally, we want to rotate it so that it's right. And we can press shift so it rotates 180 exactly. And then just move it up. It's going to be quite a large braid. I think I might have scaled it a bit too much on the width, but it's fine for the sake of the demo. And then we can go here. And we can see, I'm going to turn up the grid. Go back to draw and just turn floor off. And we can see what it looks like when it's finally on a character. And I have actually braided together several braids and just given it some detail. But that was it. Thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.